If anyone is curious to why I was crying like a five-year-old in the car earlier today, I'm pretty sure nobody heard my sorrows through the windows. The window was wide open and I made a scene in front of everyone. Um, well, no, not exactly. Scratch that, exactly. Scratch that. But, yeah, that's the first part of the ultimate reaction. Turmeric. Baby Farce TV friend. One million views. What are we going to put on the TV? this together. My apologies for stalling everything. Let me get our main premise of today's YouTube video out so everyone can see what we're going to do today. And if you guessed my usual Saturday routine, aka Pokemon card opening, you are correct. This time we only have Walgreens cards. I went to two different Walmarts earlier today and they have jack shit each. Crazy, but wait, if you love your parents, prove it by liking the video, then pressing subscribe, and then press remix. How many people are gonna say stop using our parents for fam? <laughs> this student had a surprise for her professor. When the professor came into the room, the student gave him some scissors. The teacher was baffled, but when he saw the balloon that said pop me, Okay. Now, if this is something inappropriate, this control, this remote is going straight at the goddamn TV. No joke, it will happen. He got ready to pop the balloon, but what happens next is crazy. But wait, if you love your parents, prove it by liking the Just get on with it already! And when you press the option at the top, something amazing will happen. Turns out she got an A-plus on her test. The student oh. was surprised for her professor. When the professor... That's all. Animation Epic vs. Jack and Jellyfy be like. What was I gonna do? Let me deal! Let me deal! Let me deal! Let me deal! Let me. Deal. Okay, fine. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm just gonna watch a. Nah, uh, uh, okay, hang on. Oh, yes! One of the two. Uh, one of the two. BFDI I, I, and Heimer episodes came out earlier. I'm not going to tell you what happened in them, but I will give you a spoiler alert to me, my reaction, basically. The crying I did in the car earlier was because of that. was because of that ep that one of the two episodes. 
more specifically the one that's out right now versus the one that isn't out right now. But I have some good and some unfortunate news. Good news is that there's a lot of packs today. Unfortunate news is that we're not getting any EC today, which is highly disappointing. We've got the next best thing, though. Is it really the next best thing? Okay, we have Salamence, Dragonite, another Sal- Nope, that's two Salamences. This is a third Salamence. This one was water damage, but all the contact- con Yeah, it's, it's all still intact. And now, Dragonite, which is also kind of mangled, two Guardi Tins, and no, no, that's a Guardi and a me, and then another Guardi and another me. So that's eight tins there, and also this, um, A four pack, one bonus card. Lightning box. Another one that has three chilling rain packs in it. And once again, it's one of those, those promos from Silver Tempest. We have Frown Zenith and three chilling in this. Crown Zenith will not be the bane of my Crown Jewels exit. Okay, we're, we're probably not gonna say that today. What happened to Ray Ray? Ray Ray! My sweet Ray Ray. Text my mom about my my Ray Ray. Okay, I texted her. She better respond and have a logical explanation for where it is. Because if it fell back there, it's most likely all ruined. And yeah, it was ruined a four hundred dollar card. All right, let's start off with the two damaged ones. The Salamence one that's no plastic on it. From own code. Uh, in your packs. Nasty with two Lost Origin aside. Abra, Abra, Kadabra. I don't give a fuck. Now the Dragonite tin, which was most. <sighs> Financial recovery. Zero. Come on. Didn't come out. Code. It is a four. I can tell because we've got something over here to the side. I don't think any of the alternate arms break us all. Another. Another two. Grave. Ah. Another two Salamence tins. Another code. You know what it is. Two Losty and another ST. Screw, screw this card. Alright, let's see if she texts. No, she hasn't. Let me do a cliche transition.
Okay, that wasn't the least cliche transition I could have ever came up with, and I'm sorry for that. We know what lost we we know what to do for lost E. So, now for the Guardian Blissey. If we're lucky we can get cosmic eclipse out of these. If not It's probably going to be base Lost E base and R C. And I think I know which one we have. For the first one. No, nope, we got Darkness Ablaze instead of Sword and Shield Base. Lost E! Win BTL! Win! Nobody cares! Fuck your stupid. Uh-uh-uh, it's not it. I don't think it's it. Are we going to get lucky with the set? Oh my god, these, these don't fucking come out. Me. Yay! And there's your code. Are we going to get lucky enough to get a Cosmic? Cosmic, Cosmic. Oh, we got Battle Styles. I will take that over RC any day. Alright, let's see. Ah, no text. But we have two more chances. Print runs do have variety there. There's like four or five different ones. Alright, we're rooting for we're rooting for the fourth best Pokemon card set to make its ultimate return. After being absent for now I can tell this is another darkness of blaze. But will it be an, an RC or will it be a battle style? The answer is another goddamn RC. A brilliant flame on the light of today. This is our chance to either get Cosmic Eclipse or have Sword and Shield Base absent from the entire Pokemon card opening. And I can already tell we are not getting Cosmic Eclipse in this one. But we are getting another battle style. Alright, so for our pack variety, we have a total of... Come back and text me, Mom. I think he got the alt art because an ad played. It's a fucking 25 then skip. Not willing to listen to 15 commercials in a row. Shut up. Band-Aid brand. 
band-aid brand trying to fuck me over. Crease. Alright. Two RC, four darkness, one crown, one frown, four ST as well, two battle styles, three chilling rain, and four, and what, 12 lost origin? Yeah. So we're starting off. With Rebel C Clash, the worst Pokemon card set that has ever been created. This is genuinely my least favorite Pokemon card set. I like the three. I only like strongly dislike three of them. Damn, Pokemon cards are looking fine today. Darkness of Blaze Charizard. It was the hit card of 2020 before the Rainbow Rare version swooped up and took its spotlight. Congratulations. You're not, we got nothing. That's to be expected because this set fucking bombs. It stinks. It sucks. It's... Let us have uh, Darkness of Blaze be nicer to us. We can confirm, but we cannot get a hit in here. No, we don't have not. We haven't hit an ultra rare just yet, but it's only a matter of time. Charizard! Oh, it's the Charizard! What a day! What a day for Pokemon card collecting. It's a Corviknight Hollow. Uh oh. Excuse me. Oh, it's a new code. And it's a good code. And it's a V. Our first ultra rare hit of the day. Every one of the sword and shield sets got a reprint with the newer codes, except for Chilling Rain. Because everyone thinks Chilling Rain fucking sucks. And I can understand why they think that. The reason being is because it has some te pull rates that are a very brutal. And that's what the early sword killer is. Brutal pull rates. We're hitting something again? We are hitting something again. Another regular V, but it's another ultra rare. In general, stop! Lost Origin may drive me to the brink. I've pulled the Rayquaza before and I know what it looks like. Suicune, rare, and a Crobat V. I've actually pulled the right clause of VMAX. I just don't know where the, don't know where the heck it went. What? So I'm gonna hound my mom until she answers a text. Me I'm not gonna do that. Just kidding. Crown Zenith, Gold Giratina. We have been looking for that ever since our first opening of the set. We haven't opened Crown Zenith all that much on the channel, but we got a white coat out of this pack, so we're not getting any anything, anything good. Want, want, want! Don't you fucking want, want me? Do not want, want me again. So now it's time for the final set of the Sword and Shield era including special sets, and then we'll be going to the final set before the special sets count. If we don't count special sets. And I think I may see something in... No. Uh-oh. It's a texturous something in the back. 
So we're not we're not we're not getting screwed out of frown. Set that has a word that rhymes with frown, which is something I've done pretty much the entire fucking day. It's a zero or, or a rare. We don't say the line. It's an electric energy. The reason why we don't say that line is because that person who I normally refer to is dead to me. Let's ask my new best friend Lulu. What's her favorite Pokemon? But it's a textured energy card. Haha. -ha. Silver Tempest, Lugia Alt Art Hunt. We did some of this earlier in the week. I pulled the Dragonite the same day. Unfortunately for us, our first Silver Tempest code is a good one. However, in being good, it did not provide us with a silver border for the chance at the Lugia. A card I still need from this godforsaken set. But Lost Origin's been like the most brutal set in terms of pulling alt arts. I mean, no, if you... No, I don't think... I, I haven't pulled a Silver Tempest alt art yet. I have... And out of all the times I've attempted to do so, I've, I've had one silver border for the chance. No, there's Zara Aura. Please don't give me the memories. Oh, and you know the guy who made the friend analysis song? Oh, he's a girl! <laughs> a gr I fucking hate this year. Can someone just not get exposed for, for doing inappropriate... Can someone not do inappropriate stuff, rather? Not just not get exposed. You can't... You don't get exposed if you don't do the crime. Do the crime, do the time. And it's not... We did the time, but we didn't get anything out of it. Smeargle with a Mencham Hollow. Another Hollow, but we have one pack of Silver Tempest to go. I think we've only had like two Vs and a Textured Energy so far. Is this another good code? Yes. Is there anything in the pack? Just another fucking V. Stop giving me regular V cards. I want more than that. I want what we are. I want what we're really after. What do we want? Right of Pride. When do we want? We don't want Right of Pride. We don't want. We don't want fucking Right of Pride. Oh, we got a double banger. It's the Ho V. This card would have made for a very good alternate art card, but it's. But it's called Silver Tempest, and Lugia's the silver Pokemon, and Ho-Oh's the gold Pokemon, and the set isn't called Gold Tempest, which is why there's no Ho-Oh alternate art, and there will never be one. Alternate art GX tag teams, and alternate art Vs, and V-Maxes. What we're made for! Nice start. To the styles that battle. The battle styles return arc has re been the big redemption for this set that I used to really be neglectful towards after it shit on us the prior two times prior to its return and it's a Tapu Bulu rare and an Empoleon V but the regular one this is the one we have the alt art out of the set speaking of alt arts the most expensive card in the set is the Tyranitar V alt art Will we ever pull it? Who knows? Maybe this next pack will give us a shot. Maybe this pack can give us a shot at that. I doubt I'll speak it into existence, though. No, nope. not this time. Damn. I'm sorry.
We can find it for cheaper. Three chilling ran. And then we move to the fun, in quotation marks. Because sometimes Lost Origin cannot be fun. And that's a white and green. Just, uh oh. What are we thinking? What are we thinking, chilling ran? What are we thinking? You want to know? Do you want to know what we're thinking? What are we thinking? Because it looks a rainbowy border, an altardy border, something good border. It's not an altar P Max because there's three in the set, and I know it can be the border unless it's because the blaze it can. And we got a Sandaconda V Max rainbow out of Chilling Rain. Wow. Chilling Rain delivering the knockout punch. Or, or is it going to be the knockout punch? Because who knows what, what Lost Origin is going to bring. I mean, there's no doubt EC is winning set of the year for the second year in a row. I don't think anyone can snatch. I don't think a single set could steal that away unless it's Team Up. Except the problem with Team Up, it's too it's too fucking hard to get my hands on. If I pull the Latios and Latios out of that, it will dethrone EC for life. And I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't like my favorite set to be dethroned. EC being dubbed the GOAT has been something to go on for a long time. This pack did not strike us another ultra rare. But Sandaconda VMAX Rainbow does make Chilling Rain the leader. We had no Fusion Strike today, no Evolving Skies, no Brilliant Stars. Astral Radiance has still been absent. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to distance myself from that set. I genuinely enjoy it. Oh boy. Not not finishing off with an ultra rare out of lo East. No, chilling. But we'll finish off decently regardless. Zangus, which is a rare reverse. Taurus Holler rare. All right, it's time to search for the Giratina V alternate art. First step is to get a good code. That was not, that was failed. That didn't get a cheat this time. It didn't achieve. Oh my goodness, that went straight to the wall. Nicked a corner. And this pack is a, it's not quite the, not the, It's not the full start we were hoping for, but we have to warm up if we want to get to the big box. Benji Scarlet, stop singing your stupid music videos. They stink. Glad you like the music. <laughs> Let's see if we can get another good coat. No, we haven't even got it. No. Oh, they even chewed up a card in the pack. Who let their four-year-old fuck with my Metacham? And my misfortune sisters. Oh, I'm I'm gonna oh no I can I'm gonna legitimately chew on a regular rare card if we get a black border. If if we get another Delphox V full head, I'll probably rip the goddamn card. Oh my goodness, we didn't get a good code. Aww, but we did get a cast form trainer gallery. Aww, they put my energy in upside down. I don't understand. Oh, yeah! Okay, alright. Alright, what if we burn through three packs so far? Yes. Four. Okay. Can we finally strike a good code? Jesus, fuck. 
Maybe I shouldn't have wasted my money on this set. I've spent forever trying to pull the goddamn card and still haven't been able to. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god! Where is my freaking... Alright, another pack. We are like, we're about to be halfway through with nothing out of Lost Origin except for a single trainer gallery. Alright, if I see a white code card, I'm going to perfectly cut the video. And the result is... Oh my god! Okay, seriously, what, what is going on today? Did that Rainbow Rare out of Chilling Rain really throw you off that much? Just because it may have decreased your chances of winning doesn't mean you derail yourself for the entire opening. Not like this. Not Yeah, not like this. Not like this? Jesus, fuck. Ah! Just a rare reverse. Alright, alright. Well, eighth pack of Lost Origin. And no wonder you guys were water damaged. Go ahead and Let's see. I think I see something in here, yeah. We have the code. The color! It's a black code, so we're getting something, but what? Just to be. It's a step in the right direction, but it's not, it's not a big step. I want a big step in the right direction, not a little step in the right direction. Draping on V. If that was an amorous, it would have been getting thrown at the wall before I sleeved it. I already own a card of an amorous already, plus it's one of my least favorite Pokemon. Let me ha- okay. I see another good code peeking out. Alright. I don't see it. I'll cry a second time today if I have to. Dust Ox, that's a rare reverse again. And a Hollow of Trevenant. Well... The cards are now starting to show up on your screen. No. Oh my god, I'm getting tortured. I wanted to open this set for a reason. It's because we've had unfinished business to do with this set for far too fucking long. Guys, guess what I just found on the floor outside of its sleeve and top loader. Oh, I found it. It's a Rayquaza alternate. Right. Oh, shit.
Okay, so yeah, that was like $120 wasted. $120 of my money I'm not getting back. Yeah, I knew everything goes wrong for me. And now I've just destroyed my Rayquaza. No, I'm just kidding. It was not a Rayquaza alternate art. I wouldn't do something like that to a Pokemon card. Let's ask my mom. Actually, let's get to that good, get to get to the fun part. Goodbye.